just a swimming with bow-legged women. Hey everybody, Walrus here from Walrus Street, bringing you another episode of SPAC Week. Today we're going to be looking at VACQ merging with Rocket Labs USA. Just a reminder, I am not a financial professional. All information in this video is for entertainment purposes only. So, you're too poor to invest in SpaceX when it finally eventually goes public, but you still want to get your rocket into space. Tell you what, how about you check out Rocket Labs USA merging with Vector Acquisitions through the ticker VACQ. This is my favorite space related SPAC right now. And I think the valuation is very attractive as it stands. Here is the 8K for the definitive agreement. You can see there are warrants tradable under VACQW and then the commons are listed under VACQ. This merger was reported on March 1st, 2021. Here's the current valuation. We're sitting at $11.68 for VACQ. And if you check out the news, we've got a direct comparison here from MarketWatch to SpaceX. It's a pioneer. A similar company you can actually invest in is Rocket Lab. Of course, SpaceX is not a publicly traded company yet. You know, it will be someday, but right now it's still private. It's still Elon Musk's baby. And you see the comparison again and again and again, all the way through these news. It's just comparing everything to SpaceX. The fact that all of these comparisons are being made between Rocket Labs and SpaceX makes me feel like this is actually going to be a hype-driven price action after merger where people are just investing in pushing this past its fundamental valuation. In its favor, we have ARCX beginning trading. And though we don't know this yet, there's a very high likelihood that VACQ, Vector Acquisitions Q, Rocket Labs USA is going to be included in that ETF. Here is their website, really cool website. They have a lot of videos easily accessible about their launches on the website. Now this is not some speculative company. They have launched 104 satellites already into space. Frequent and reliable launch is here. Redefining how we access space, introducing Electron, Rocket Lab's latest launch vehicle, delivering small satellites to low Earth orbit at an unprecedented frequency. Cool website. We've got dedicated launch service, ride share, so frequent opportunities to fly with other payloads at commercially competitive prices. This is for companies that need to get a satellite into space but can't afford to do it on their own. Global company. They're headquartered in Long Beach, California, but they have facilities and launch sites across the world, including Auckland, New Zealand, Mahia, New Zealand, Wallops Island, Virginia, Sinclair Interplanetary in Toronto, and Chatham Islands. Investor relations presentation. The link is below the video. This presentation was released after their merger. So you will have information about Vector Acquisitions Corporation in this document. Their founder CEO, Peter Beck, and then Alex Slusky, the CEO of Vector Acquisitions. So Vector Capital deals only with tech. They have a 25-year track record, invested in over 100 tech companies, 39% gross IRR since their inception. Really, that's consistent return. In the history of spaceflight, only two private companies have delivered regular and reliable access to orbit, Rocket Lab and SpaceX. This is the competition right here. There are newer companies coming up that deal with launching, but as of right now, the only operational companies providing the service, Rocket Lab, SpaceX. In just under six years, they've had 18 launches, 97 satellites, three launch pads built, the second most for frequently launched US rocket. They talk about how they're way out in front as a business, and this is dealing with the rockets they've already launched. The TAM, 350 billion, forecast to grow to 1.4 trillion by 2030. This is a really big TAM, and with the prevalence of satellites, private companies launching these things, there's an increasing need globally for these types of deliveries into low Earth orbit. World-leading technology, they have a 3D printed rocket engine. They're the first electric pump-fed rocket engine, first fully carbon composite launch vehicle, first and only private orbital launch site, first rocket that converts to a satellite on orbit, unique kickstage enabling in-space transportation, the only reusable small launch vehicle, and the first private interplanetary mission. Vertically integrated from rocket design to payload launch, mission control. The only company that launches more frequently than them is SpaceX. Globally, the only countries and companies 
companies launching more frequently than them, China, Russia, SpaceX. These are some of their customers. We've got DARPA, NASA. What's this? They have an upcoming mission for Starfleet? No, kidding, that's the US Space Force. Their rockets are reusable. And here you can see the helicopter-based recovery of their rockets. Their next step is gonna be Neutron, which can lift 98% of all satellites forecast to launch through 2029. Their Electron is their small lift right now. Neutron's gonna be medium. And then the SpaceX Falcon 9 is large lift, and you can see the size differences between them. So this gives you an idea that even though they're kind of competing with SpaceX, they're focusing on different things. The Electron and the Neutron are going to be more efficient at getting small, medium-sized satellites and payloads into space, whereas SpaceX's Falcon rocket is focused at getting large payloads into space. So there's room for both companies. Here's their historical projected revenue. The revenue is increasing over time for the space system and the launch. This is also pretty cool. The current bookings for 2021 already represent 90% of their forecast revenue. We're only three months into 2021. Existing customer relationships, frequency of repeat business, and active opportunity pipeline of 2.2 billion provide confidence in their long-term plan. This isn't a one and done. They've got repeat customers and they already have about 2.2 billion in revenue kind of locked up in commitments. SpaceX, of course, is gonna be valued much higher. But then Rocket Labs here is already generating revenue. Its competitors, Astro, Momentus, Relativity are not. No payloads deployed, no successful launches, whereas SpaceX and Rocket Lab have. Here's the valuation benchmarking. You could see it's very attractively valued for what they offer. Compared to some of these other companies that have gone public recently via SPAC, QuantumScape is working on a solid state battery and they don't have revenue yet. Now let's just take a quick look. Once again, Torniki Lakitze, follow him on Twitter. He creates these really awesome graphics for SPACs. This is a comparison of all of these space-related SPACs recently. We've got Redwire, Rocket Labs, Spire, Black Sky, Astro, Momentus, and AST. Rocket Labs is very attractively priced compared to some of them here. The implied market cap is going to be 5.7 billion, which is going to be greater than any of the other ones on the list. Like the next closest is Astra, 3.14. Astra doesn't have revenue yet. They're projecting about 4 million in revenue this year, whereas Rocket Lab should have 69 million by the end of the year. They do have competition, but this company is the most established of the SPAC companies doing this type of thing. If you take a look at some of the cost basis for the shares of VACQ that are already in circulation, they're basically all valued above where we are right now. This is a very attractive entry point for the SPAC. We're close to NAV. A lot of people got in on this much higher. So I'm very comfortable with my current valuation and my position in VACQ. If I was going to be comparing this one to a shark, this would be the Mako roaming the oceans alone, big and scary on itself, and very functional predator capable of taking down the biggest prey. Seriously, VACQ, Rocket Labs, this is a good one. I'm really excited to be in this. All right, everybody, as always, thanks for following along. If you're new to investing, please check out my Weeble referral link below the video. If you create a new account, invest $100, you get a free stock, I get a free stock, everybody wins because I'm partnered with Weeble, the free stock. I'm getting is worth $30 or more. So I appreciate that. As always, if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be alerted to all my content, as soon as it goes live, make sure you hit that notification bell. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot.